Oh, that's not a bushcraft chair. No, I haven't made a bushcraft chair yet, guys. So, Christmas came early for Bushcraft Rebel, and we got some new toys. First, got an interesting little hatchet. Um, nifty little case. Not really sure what it'll be good for. I don't know if it would split a piece of firewood or not. Maybe something small. I think because the handle is where the blade is, it would stop it. But all in all, it might be good for throwing. We shall figure it out. So I got this old dead piece of junk wood. And we're going to try throwing this later. Playing around with it while we make our fire, maybe. So, Bushcraft Rebel has a Bushcraft Rebel missus. And she went out and bought me some new toys. First thing I'm going to show you guys is uh, this nifty little tool. Kind of a break off of uh, an army shovel. So it's an army looking shovel. Not sure what we'll do with this. It does have a saw on it, which. Yeah, well, it does cut, but you're going to be there a while. So we may, may use this for different things. It's something nice to have in your bag. So I'm not really excited about that part. Now, the Bushcraft Rebel's wife definitely knows her husband. And she bought me this. Comes with a, it's an okay sheath. But it feels good in the hand and it's, it's just a monster. We got stuck. Just a monster. Didn't even ruffle or hurt the blade. So, let's see how well this is going to work. Let me find a scary stick real quick. Scary stick instead of your fingers. Now, this is not at all the best wood in the world, people. I won't lie to you. But still, let me see. Oh, oh. How about this one? Oh, let's see here. I don't want to hold it in my hand. Got through there. Well. Same thing you do with the hatchet. Damn, it just went right through and cut. So you could process some firewood with it. It cuts fairly well. Um, the name is really hard. I'm not sure how you pronounce this name. I think it's supposed to be Camilus. I don't know. I'm not good with that shit. But definitely gonna enjoy playing with this toy. So if you guys were here from the last video. We made our little saw horse, which is okay. Um, would have liked to use bigger pieces of wood to do it. We're probably going to rebuild this one and make another one, but I'm going to keep this little guy. Y'all love my pink string. <laughs> it was on sale. My other thing I got to new is from the exact same company. Now, I call this a bushcraft knife, and we're going to test these knives to the extent of what they can do. We're going to build a fire with them. We're going to see how well they throw sparks. We're going to see how well they process, make feather sticks. The whole works. So, let's pick this up off the ground. Leave it right here. And let's get working on it and see what we can do. Shall we? You guys can see my little 
fire pit still here. Got a little bit of spare firewood left. We're not gonna make a big fire. We just wanna test these knives out and see how well they work. So. Have us some sticks here and some over here as well. Let's first start with what I call the Mora knife. That's not its name brand. See the name brand on there? But I'm just calling it a Mora knife because it's well, called a bushcraft knife. That's what it reminds me of. Let's start with this piece. That looks like that could be a good knocker. I don't know how well the fire starting is going to go today. Everything is super wet. Did that fairly well. Seems to baton fairly well. I don't see any real damage being done to the knife. So, how about feather sticking? I hope one don't even know if you guys can see me. How about this? Let me see. What look at that. Okay. So let's try doing some feather sticking. Let's give me a spot to work with. I'll do this side. Give me a section to work with. And we'll just start doing feather sticks. I'm not gonna do huge. But that will do her. It's kind of a big blade. The wood's really dry. Just can't really get a set spot to get it good. So, not too bad of feather sticks. Let's try a slightly bigger piece to work with. All right, we'll go above. We we'll use that knot as our top. So it does shear off rather nice pieces when you're doing it that way. I don't have anything good to go against. So yeah, not too bad. About paper thin. So you guys, now let's see how well she'll throw a spark. There she is. So, let me use the back of it. Ooh! Threw a nice spark. Does throw a nice spark. Look at that where it hit the blade. Not much damage to the blade, really, from what I'm doing. So let's do a little more, get us something going here. Trying to get a little bit bigger of pieces here. Cut this and break this off. Now, oh, didn't do too bad, but I'm going to do a little more and I'll bring you back. Come on, maybe too wet. I'm not doing too bad to the knife, really. You can see the strikes on it. I'm thinking my stuff might be a tad bit too wet. It has been raining a lot. Thought I got to a fairly dry piece of wood. But check this out. That's the back of the knife. Ain't that crazy. Get me more of something to shoot at. Right in there. 
I don't want to give up yet. Ooh, almost, buddy. Huh. We get some more stuff settled up a little better. Get a piece of string in there, see if that helps out. I know it's good and dry. Oh, I thought I was almost there. That's not working. All right, guys, let's go again. Found something that might help. Maybe. There we go. I don't know how you go. You guys can see it. But we did get it. Just took a second. But see, you can see it's having a lot of trouble getting going. I think it's just a simple fact. The stuff is really wet out here, guys. But we're getting there. Let's get a couple more little pieces to throw on there. So not doing terrible with the feather sticks I do believe it needs a Aaron Logan sharpening job Ooh. she's still trying let me get this done real quick and then I'll give you guys a close-up show you what's going on with it just want some smaller pieces real quick So the knife didn't take too bad of a beating, but it will be okay. Don't know if I like this video or not, just not sure. Trying to see what my fire, if it's going to go or if it's going to stay or what. starting to see some life to it oh it's pretty strong wood seems really dry just gets a little fire going Tell you what, this big boy barely even needed it, anything to hit with. Even just using your hand, it will go. I mean, it's just a beast. That's all it is is a beast. But, gotta love my wife. She always buys me cool shit. Good way to get rid of our garbage as well. So I hope you guys liked. We're just kind of hanging out at bush camp today and wanted to make something, so I did. Wanted to test out the new knife and everything, and I did. Uh, you guys will be seeing a video up of me... Uh, Building the cooking tray for the tripod. I did not bring it with me. I left it at home. I kind of wish we had more time, you know, but we're in the holidays now and. Damn. Sharp. 
Okay, put it away. I keep playing with it. But uh, we're in the holidays, and I got Christmas tomorrow, and just a lot of other stuff to do. And I go straight back out on the road again, which it's all right. Got to make money somehow. Yeah, this stuff's really wet. It's not taking off at all like it should. So I guess we're going to call it a day. I'm going to hang out by the fire a little bit. Oh, on my tarp. If I have a fire, it's taking its time getting going. But I don't know where you guys are today, but this weather has been so weird. Because it's a day before Christmas and it's not even cold outside. I mean, it's hot. It's very weird. But, um, <sighs> we got a lot of stuff coming, guys. A lot of stuff coming. Finishing up my first knife and building more on the base camp on figuring out what we're going to use for our structure. There's a lot going on. So, I'm going to sign off and talk to you guys later. Bye.